In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to build a blog with Fast Funnels. So let's go to websites and we're going to create a new website. You can only build a blog inside of a website and not a funnel because it's a, a totally different thing. So we just click yes to creating a new website. And now we'll just go ahead and grab a theme that's going to be suitable. So I'm going to go to the personal section and then we can see there's all sorts of really, really nice designs there. And there's one just here, which is already set up just like a blog, which is ideal. There it is. Here's the theme. And then we've got our sort of very traditional looking blog here, our blog post and the categories, recent uh, posts, tag clouds and everything else. So it's ideal for our blog. And then we'll just click start with this theme, call it my blog. And we can also select a brand color. So I'm going to go with this green here. And if you have a logo, you can upload a logo at this point as well. And then let's go through to the site in the builder. And there it is. So now it's just a question of adjusting it to be the exact way that you want. We've got loads of tutorials on the builder itself. But um, this is your header. You can see there's an arrow there with the word header on. Everything above there is going to be the header for your whole site, no matter what page you're on. So you would want to upload your logo here, maybe stylize it a little bit. I mean, we can we can do that now. Let's just go and change the background color very slightly. This is our core color. But what I'll do is I'll just uh, create a nice lighter version of that like this and then save it. And then that will be the same now on every page that we navigate to like this. We've got an about us page here. We've got a contact us page and of course we have our blog, which is right here. So this is where you control your blog. You add new posts and everything else. You can get to it by going to pages and then blog. So if we go in and edit one of these posts, just to show you what a post looks like, you can see at the top we've got some video code in this particular blog post. Um, as at the very top of the blog post. You don't have to have that. You can also have a gallery, an image on its own, a quote or anything like that, which will form the top of your blog post. Then you've got your, your title of your blog post here. Let's just change this over. Like that. Then we've got our summary, that first little write-up about the blog post that introduces it. And then the main content of our blog post. Great thing is, is that we can just go ahead and use all of these blocks, even within a blog. So you've got all kinds of different layouts, images and text, galleries. All of this can actually be dropped straight into your blog post. So even like this product here, if we wanted to just drop that straight into the blog post, there it is like so. And we can just change the color of the background there to white. And there you go, right in the middle of a blog post, we're able to just go and add in uh, you know, a product write up with a buy now button that will link to this product if we want it to. So the blog post is really, really flexible. Not only can you just add blocks there, you can also go and add in widgets as well. So if you just wanna drag some more text over here, like this underneath there, or wherever you want really, if you wanted to start writing underneath that, you can also drop in uh, text and any other widgets that you see here, forms, you know, images, icons, anything you want to, you're able to use to build up a really good blog post. So I'm just going to click update. Then the other thing you'll want to do is go to the settings of your blog post. So we can choose if we want to show the header, we want to enable comments or not, whether we want to have to approve comments before they appear and then uh, add share buttons as well, which I'm gonna do. We're gonna add all three of these share buttons right here. And then we've got our tags. We can we can add more of those. So just, just put video creation as another tag. And then we can choose our category. We've got this in the category of video. We can also choose the URL, which is great for the search engine point of views. And then the author, let's just type in me and then the post date as well. So you can actually schedule your post for the future, which is really good. And then once you've done that, you just click update and then that's all done. And if you wanna have a look and see how that looks now, you just click on the eye right there 
And this is the blog post uh, coming up right now. There it is. So we've got a video embedded in there, as you can see. There we go. Just a free video that we found from somewhere that just looks really, really good. And it fits beautifully in that area there in your blog post. And this is your blog. Now, you've also got control over this right hand side here on the blog and then on the individual posts as well. There's our, our little product that we added. There's the tags just there. We added that tag video creation. And then people are able to submit their comments at the bottom there like that. So really, really nice, clean uh, and simple way to go and add a blog post. But going back to our home page here, we've got a slider on the top, which we could just delete if we didn't want that. Easy to do. Just click delete. There we are. And now it's starting to look really like a sort of classic WordPress style blog, but without all the hassle that WordPress can bring with the constant updates and, uh, you know, the, all the different things that you get, spam comments galore and having to update plugins all the time. You've just got a really nice, clean, simple blog here that you've got a lot of flexibility over. So you can see we've got uh, a widget here which if we scroll down to it now is called blog. So we can drag that over to our sidebar and now we can choose what we want to appear there. Recent posts, popular categories or tags. Then we can choose uh, the number of them we want to display as well. We can choose the color of them as well. So there's so many different things that you can do, you know, color wise and style wise with each of these different blog widgets. And you can make it seem, you know, just like an exact, perfect, normal blog that you're used to seeing online. We can move things around a little bit if we're not happy with the height and then click save. And these blog posts are great for the search engines as well. So here's one now, new blog post three. And now we're on the actual blog post itself. And there it is. Very, very quick and easy, simple to build blog. The footer as well, you've got full control over. So you're able to just go and edit the footer. And that's the same just as the header. This footer will be the same on every single page there as well. So it will, you won't have to be updating every single page. Now, what we've got right here is uh, we've got, again, we've used the blog widget to build this page. See, there's a blog widget there that's got two posts in. If we go to edit it, there you go. We're going to show recent posts. Um, we've decided that the medium size image is best for us. And then we can show posts from a specific category. I could change that to video if I want to. Or we can change it to exterior. We can choose the, the navigation that we want to use and uh, or the load more button. And then we can add share buttons as well to those posts just like that. And, and that's about it. If we want to you know, show more posts, we can do that too. We can have them all going in a nice long line down there. So you can really customize this beyond, a lot beyond really, uh, what most blogs can do. And really with no technical experience either. You're just watching this tutorial video now and you, you can do no wrong really. Anything that you try out, you're not happy with, you can just press the undo button. If you want to add more pages to your blog, then you can do that. All you need to do is you can either duplicate a page that's already there or go ahead and add a new page. I'm just going to add a brand new page here. And we've got tons of different page designs that you could use. And let's say you wanted to just add an event to your blog. I'm going to select this page, call it events. And then we'll make that public. And there it is. There's our events page now beautifully blended in with the site and using that header and that footer and also the colors as well. Um, uh, right there. Now, if we want to add this to the menu, it's just as simple as going add menu item and then choosing events and select. And there it is at the bottom. But if we don't want it there, then that's no problem. We can move it, say, to here, just in between the about and contact us. And let's put contact on the end. And there it is in perfect order. And there's our events button. We'll save that. And now we've got it live. Let's just go and have a little look. And there we are. We've got about, events, blog, contact, videos. It's all there.
and so simple with no kind of really, you know, clever coding skills or anything like that. You're able to build a really good search engine friendly site that, um, with a blog. And then you can see the different views here as well. It optimized beautifully for mobile. We then have a nice little menu coming out like this. So it works great on there as well. And then with regards to SEO, let's say we wanted to optimize our homepage. We're able to do the SEO info here so we can put our page title in, our meta description. We can also have a site map on this as well so Google can spider the entire site really, really well. And then you add, you can add a share image too as well if you want to. So when this somebody shares a link to your site on social media, it will show your image and your description. So it looks really good and attracts people to go and click on the actual uh, link. So that's how you build a blog with Fast Funnels. Good. I hope you really like it. And uh, if you need any help, then get in touch with support.